Hey everybody, so today we're going to be talking about some of the off-grid solutions that I've got set up on my house. Right now what you're looking at at the moment is my big solar panels which are uh, grid tied, but what we want to talk about are these two little panels right here. Those are two one, 100 watt 12 volt solar panels. Uh, so I get about 200 watts on a super bright good day. Um, and I'll just walk over here real quick and show you guys kind of what the wire looks like as it runs down and all that stuff as soon as we get through the gate here. And if you look right there, you're going to see I got the wires kind of wrapped around the gutter and then they, they go behind it zip tied all the way down. And this way I can actually just keep them from flopping around in the wind uh, for the for the meantime, this is just a regular little setup. It's not um, permanent or anything. This is just purely for testing purposes only. Uh, the ultimate goal would to run it through that conduit that you see right there. And there's a big junction box where some of those wires all come together and they're tied in from the grid tied system. But hopefully I can make it in there, run the wires in, and then just poke through into the garage. Um, but at the end of the day, nobody really cares. We just want to see what the system looks like. I'm just kind of showing what it looks like running the wires right here wrapped around. Empty gas can that's never been used. Fire extinguisher for the empty gas can. There's the wire running across the floor there. That's a gel battery setup right there. And I'm just showing that the wire runs up and then uh, connects into the MPPT uh, wind solar hybrid controller there. Um, and that's just showing production from the solar panels. Right now what you're seeing there is incorrect, but eventually I'm uh, gonna fix that in another video. And you'll see the difference where it's showing 12 volts coming from the solar panels and all that stuff. Actually, they peak at like 13 point something. And then, anyways, this solar controller right here is kind of cool because it does a couple things. One, it charges with uh, solar panels and it also does a wind turbine. So I can connect that later on. I'll go get the wind turbine all connected. This right here is a load resistor for the wind turbine. So when it's producing and it's overproducing, the batteries are fully charged. You need to dump that load somewhere. Um, and it's only for wind turbines for some reason. I don't know the exact details why, but that's what it's for. Then you saw that little um, voltmeter that I have sitting at the top up there. And I'll talk about that here in just a second. But basically, uh, one day I'll get the wind turbine tied in and then you'll get, you guys will see that. But uh, that's gonna cost me about three, almost 400 bucks. You know, it depends on which wind turbine I go with. Right there is just a simple voltmeter that runs down and is uh, connected to the back of the um, power inverter and part of it's also connected to the charge controller um, or to some of the batteries and stuff. But um, at the end of the day, you know, the whole thing is charging up the battery, which is what we need. You got a 4,000 watt power inverter that I can easily use to power up like the refrigerator, microwave, um, some lights. Um, we don't really care about the microwave as much when you have a power outage situation. This is just a power outage situation only kind of setup. And so if you needed a couple hours of battery for, you know, powering up the refrigerator as the power's out or some lights. And uh, in this case, I've got the batteries actually running the desktop that I'm talking on right now. This is fully on battery at the moment. I've got three monitors and the desktop and it's drawing about 500 watts. Um, this power inverter is awesome because it's sine wave. It protects all the simple electronics. Uh, the batteries you see here are lithium uh, LiPo4 batteries are lithium ion phosphate, 12 volts by 100 amp hours times three. So you're getting about 3,600 watts worth of battery there. Um, the setup you see there with the daisy chain of the wires is not an ideal setup. You definitely want to be able to have a, um, I forget the exact name, but it's a block that everything ties into. I'll remember the name after the video. I always do that. 
But anyways, everything will tie in tie into the block, then it goes into the charge controller and the inverter. But right now, for this little three battery setup, it's not a big deal, so it doesn't matter too much. But at the end of the day, I've got each one of those daisy chain tied into the inverter, getting it 3600 watts. So if I got a refrigerator running and it's using 100 watts, that's gonna give me quite a few hours of usage off of that, you know, by itself. Um, there's a lot of overprotection and all that stuff built into the batteries. Uh, same with the uh, inverter. You know, it's all it's fully protected for like simple electronics such as your um, circuit boards or you know anything that's like a laptop or your cell phone and all that stuff. Um, super nice, fancy setup there with that. I do have a grid tied um, charge controller or charger, I should say, lithium charger. And basically what it does is it's charging at 12 volts, six amps is the max, you know, which is about 50 watts. And so say that you've used 3000 watts and you're trying to charge up those batteries, it's gonna take you about 30 hours to charge them up or longer. Um, it's super, super slow. You're definitely gonna have to beef it up and get a much stronger charge controller or charger, I should say. I keep saying charge controller, but it's a lithium charger that runs at about, if you were to charge up the batteries faster, you would need at least a 50 amp, which is about 600 watts. So 12 volts, 50 amps is equivalent to about 600 watts of charging. And so instead of 30 hours, it would only take you about five or six hours, you know, depending on how much you used on the batteries. Uh, so if they're about dead, um, you're looking at about six hours to fully charge them up. So one day I'll, probably buy one um, they're roughly 150 bucks and everything you see here is on our website so you have the lithium batteries proven that they work you have the charge controller that does wind and solar you have the power inverter all the wires all that stuff are on um, the description below and also our website if you check out our website You'll be able to see all the cool um, stuff that we have that's easier for you to navigate through and find. So if you're looking for something very specific to camping, off-grid, all that stuff, we've taken out all of the pain of searching through all the stuff that's out there. Something that's super light on the, on the wallet, like each one of those batteries are roughly 300 bucks after shipping. So, um, and they do just as good a job as a $400 battery or a $350 battery. Um, so far they've been working really well for my setup and stuff. But yeah, so at the end of the day you would just want to go ahead and get a setup like this. If you wanted to really charge your system faster, obviously you're going to need more solar panels. Right now I'm only getting about 80 watts on a, on a gloomy day. Um, at the peak, you know, on a sunny day, I'm probably getting about 125 to 150 watts worth or something like that. Um, maybe a little bit more, you know, but it's got to be direct sunlight. You're getting roughly, you know, if you're facing the west, you're getting about seven hours worth of charge throughout the day. So just say seven times two, you know, or seven times 100, you're looking at 700 watts. So if you needed to charge up your batteries, it'd take you a few days to charge them up, you know, all the way. Um, if you had more solar panels, like if you had 10, then you could get about a thousand, or let's just say you got some loss. So let's say 800 watts, and you're getting about seven hours of sunlight, seven times eight, you know, would give you enough energy to be able to charge them up at, um, I wanna say it's gonna take you about, See if it's 5600 or uh, it'd be about 5600 watts. So it'd take you half a day to charge up your batteries. I was just trying to do the math real quick in my head, but <laughs> not quick enough. Anyways, hope this guy, uh, helps you all. If you're interested, check out the inverter, the batteries, and all that stuff on our website. Everything's in the uh, description. So and then don't forget to subscribe. Um, we've got more videos on the way. Definitely going to be 
super cool videos uh, going over some more details. I'm going to break down the batteries and show a different setup with the bus bar is what it's called and how they're all connected into the bus bar. But like, subscribe, and see you soon.